Well, good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing great. Ah, another bonny day in Scotland. It's actually quite calm this morning. Uh, probably the calmest day that we've had in, uh, well, since I've been here. Having said that, though, it looks like it's going to start pouring with rain any minute now. So we've just come to a quick location where we can guarantee, or we're guaranteed to get some quick shots to start the day. Uh, it's a, it's just a bridge, uh, a stone and concrete bridge, I believe. And uh, it's over this beautiful canyon with a nice waterfall at the end of it. Now, I'm sure that if you're a regular photographer to Scotland, you've probably been to this location, but you have to realize that I've never been here. So this is all new to me and it looks fantastic. Uh, pretty straightforward shot. I'm just photographing the waterfall right in the middle of the frame, more or less. I've stuck on a polarizer to cut out the glare from the, uh, the river in the canyon here so that it draws your attention to the waterfall because the waterfall will be the brightest spot in the image. Uh, I've also got a really slow shutter speed, not out of choice, but because it's quite dark this morning. So it's around two seconds and that's at ISO 800 at F11. So you can see that it's very dark this morning. I don't want to go any higher than 800, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, so pretty straightforward shot. It's quite a wide shot. And then I might take a few that are a little bit closer. This is a nice little scene that I noticed uh, yesterday as we were going up the trail. And uh, there was some beautiful light on these pines in the foreground. The only problem is it was so windy that I just couldn't uh, really get a shot. So I've come back and now of course the light isn't as good as it was yesterday, but it's quite a bit calmer. So I thought I'd give it a, a shot anyway. Uh, you may or may not notice, but the two pines in the foreground here do have some really nice ambient light. And the reason why there's light on them is that they're kind of facing out towards the valley uh, on top of this canyon here. And there's no trees in front of them, so they are getting ambient light uh, beyond the canyon. And the reason why light is so important on a scene like this is that it just gives it depth. Now, the light is still quite flat, so I might have to add some contrast and do a little bit of dodging and burning, but I still really like the scene because there's some great uh, features in here, like the, the, uh, the bracken, uh, the fall color of the bracken has some nice rust tones. And then there's a little birch tree with uh, yellow foliage, which is quite nice. And I'm also able to really isolate each of the trees so they're not overlapping with one another. So it's just a nice little scene of uh, a forest scene of, uh, of these uh, Scots pine, which I'm quickly falling in love with. I mean, the shapes of them, uh, especially the older ones, uh, are just, just wonderful.
well that's kind of the end of this morning session it isn't raining yet but it's getting really close uh, Tom left uh, last night he's gone back to back home for a few days and then uh, if the weather is half decent <laughs> Uh, he's going to meet up again in, uh, on the Isle of Harris in a few days. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I think we'll go and get uh, some breakfast, eh? Yeah, I think so. There's a great cafe just down the road here that has excellent food. And really, we've just more or less stuck around here so we can go and eat there again. Because <laughs> <laughs> the food at the, uh, the uh, Thompson Hilton is, well, you know, it's okay. It's fantastic what you're talking about. <laughs> we've had pretty much, we've had sausages pretty much every day. <laughs> With the odd, odd vegetable mixed in. <laughs> All right, gonna have breakfast and then, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I think we're gonna start making our way towards the Isle of Skye, because we've got to go and catch a ferry in a couple of days. Folks, it's actually, I think it's afternoon now, isn't it? Uh, so we've, <laughs> I didn't take any video from our last location, which was a couple of hours drive from here. We're actually now on the Isle of Skye. And uh, the weather, uh, I all seem to talk about the weather. It's been, well, typical Scottish sky weather raining, windy, uh, it's finally cleared up. So we're at a place called the Fairy Glen, which uh, wasn't really my first choice, but uh, it's less of a landscape type of image. The other ones really rely on light. This one, we might be able to get away with uh, undramatic light. <laughs> anyway, we'll see, I've never been here, so looks kind of cool from the parking lot, so we'll see how it goes, eh? So I've never actually been to this location, but like all new locations, it, you know, it tends to be a bit of a challenge finding compositions on your first visit. I do know that from this angle here, that prominent buttress, well, especially with this light, just blends in with the background. It doesn't look quite as dramatic. So uh, this location here is definitely not going to work. Looks really good from the road just down here. And there's a, there's a pond here that I'm sure lots of people have taken photographs of uh, because the, the, the pinnacle seems so much more prominent and ominous but with this white, bright background, doesn't look great. So uh, unless we get some light, uh, I think I might pass on this one, unless I see something really good around it, um, which is possible, it's possible. Right. I think I might, I might be polishing turds here. I don't know. And it could be because I'm Canadian and live in Canada. We don't get scenes that are quite as quaint as this. But I found this quite appealing. Uh, we have some uh, rowan trees dotted around the road. Uh, we call them mountain ash in Canada. I, th I guess it's the same name here. Mountain ash and then the farmhouse and these hills with uh, some bracken and then the, the road kind of winds its way towards the, the white house there. And the road goes off into the distance. What the scene is really lacking is, uh, you know what I'm gonna say next, <laughs> it's just a little bit of light. Uh, I could probably darken the clouds just a little bit to 
give it a bit more drama. But it would be great if uh, there was just a, I don't know, a little patch of light somewhere to just uh, bring this scene to life. But anyway, I'm going to take this shot. Uh, it is quite windy, so I'm going to have to push my uh, shutter speed up a little bit to stop the action of, uh, of the foliage down here. All right. And uh, well, here's the shot right now. Right, I found an angle that uh, I quite like actually. And uh, I don't know if it, you can see it on the camera there, but uh, we actually have blue sky moving in. So we might actually get decent light yet, fingers crossed. So the image I'm thinking of is right where the video camera is looking this way. This hump here is actually hiding a road that's in the background. The only thing is without light, you know, the, the, uh, the pinnacle there kind of merges in with the background. So you really need some light to define it and, uh, and set it apart, which I think might happen. Well, fingers crossed, eh? You know, I'm just gonna hang out here for a while and uh, well, we'll see what happens. That was a bit of luck. The, uh, the sun did come out for about 10 minutes and uh, managed to get a little bit of light on the, the hills behind this, this uh, tower. And then we got a little bit of light on the tower itself for a while. And then it got a bit too harsh and now clouds moved in and the light, light is flat again. There is a massive blue patch of sky here. So I think at some point the uh, the sun's going to come through again. I think it's going to be too harsh, but I did manage to get some shots, which I'm really happy about. I think it's a pretty good angle composition. Uh, I ended up doing a 16 by nine, uh, which seems to work quite well with this because a lot of this stuff in the foreground is really, well, to my eye, standing here right now, looks somewhat unnecessary. But you know, I could always change my mind. Yeah. Nice little scene. I'm, uh, I'm glad I came here. It's, uh, it's kind of a neat place. Well, the sun did come out again and I managed to knock off this image, which I much prefer over the last image. The light was a little bit more diffused in this shot, but it also has some wonderful clouds at the top of the photograph. And of course the tower is lit up quite well. So with a bit of careful dodging and burning and contrast control, I was able to really bring this photograph to life. And of course that light really does give it its three dimensionality. All right, folks, thank you ever so much for watching again this week. I hope you enjoyed the video please be sure to give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video 
And as always, if you enjoy this content or the content of my other videos, uh, be sure to hit that subscriber button. All right, till next time. Bye-bye.